got the mail. I I just uh, try to implement like a method of also in our department. How how do you find this? We've just got the system, it's being installed yeah. and we plan to be using it by April for our epilepsies and for uh, mapping of eloquent cortex. Yeah. So so we map. plan to use that by uh, April. It is it is very useful because uh, it's non-invasive and we can make out a lot of dipoles which will help us at least be sure about which area. Sometimes we may still have to put in depths and grids. So. But it's a step before that. Yes. It's also a research it's tool. It's a research okay. way. For us, we would be using it more for epilepsy. I aim, I'm aiming for more research programs. Japan has a lot of makes. And China also has a lot of make machines. Yeah. Very interesting. Good. You yeah, are doing great. I got a cold, so I don't want to. No, it's okay. It no, no, it's okay. We we Just believe in uh, <laughs> in exposing ourselves to infections. <laughs> there are studies now. <laughs> there are studies to say that multiple sclerosis happens because you've never had an infection in your life, and your body doesn't know how to deal with it. Oh yeah, that's we've right. We've got so many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in India, we still have. So we, we still have, have a lot of MS. Yeah. So Despite having infections? Of course. Of course. Oh, in India, we have infections, but not so much of MS. We have MS, but not that bad. But it's not the infection, it's not the cause for this. Vitamin D? Yeah, and this is another story. Yeah. Nobody knows it. It's so multifactorial. <laughs> Inflammation and degeneration yeah. in this sequence is very complicated. We are always discussing this. <laughs> So they, they all came for this meeting. Okay. Mumbai. Venkatramana was there.